So I'm going to pull up until my vertical acceleration here goes positive again. I'm going to hit my engines again because I need to reset them. All right, let me get my HUD back by looking forward. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pull back continuously until I get this. Boom. All right, so I'm going to pull back again. All right, so I'm going to push forward until I'm at 15 degrees of pitch. So I hit kill rotation, I'm at like 18 push forward. I still have kill rotation on, so that probably killed my rotation anyway. 16, f uh, whatever. So, this dot right here, this uh, hollow, this uh, solid dot, is my periapsis, which you notice is slowly increasing. I'm going to wait till it, my periapsis is at 6.7. That way, actually, you notice my eccentricity is going down. So my orbit is normalizing a bit. So this is slowly climbing up. So I just hit apoapsis, so I'm going to hit prograde. Now, I'm going to explain what that means. Prograde means that I am pointing forward along my line. So essentially, if I were to this, imagine this line as being 3D. If I were to point exactly forward along this line, so all my thrust goes directly forward, that's what a prograde burn does. It will speed me up and therefore raise whatever point I'm heading towards. A retrograde burn does the exact opposite. It points me away from where I'm looking to go. That way, uh, I will slow down and lower that point. So notice the fact that my periapsis is now climbing at a faster rate and once that reaches 6.7, I'm going to kill my engines here and conserve some fuel. And that will conclude the tutorial at that point. At, after that, I'm going to show you uh, how to play around with your periapsis and your apoapsis. So let me just wait for that. So just to give you an idea of what we're looking at here, this green line is my position. So you see this hollow circle here, kind of? That's my apoapsis, my highest point. Periapsis over here is the solid circle, which you notice is now at a safe point. And I could probably pull that one off. Uh, I, I, that's a little dangerously close to the atmosphere, though. So, once that gets to uh, 6.709, I'm going to kill my engines and conclude this tutorial. Just to give you an idea, actually, while I'm waiting for this, if I hit F8, I can actually look around my cockpit in this virtual uh, space shuttle. Uh, let me just tilt this down so I can still look at my periapsis down here. That I can barely read that, though. If you want a cool view of the Earth, do not look that direction. Or uh, that direction. Well, okay, the Earth is this way, but it's uh, nighttime. So I'm going to show you, now that I don't really need this anymore, I'm going to show you... If I select, I can select the uh, map. So this gives me an idea of what my orbit looks like right now. Hold on, periapsis. I'm just trying to keep an eye on that. Now, if I hit track, which is left shift K in this case, and then I zoom in, I can see the fact that I'm still in the uh, night. I've actually entered the night. On 6.5. Sorry, just trying to watch this. Eccentricity is going down, though. That's good. I could, that's very easy to move when I'm on eccentricity. It's basically zero. So I can very easily see the path of my orbit, which is this green line, and where I launched from. 
and where it's whether it's day or night on 6.6 all right we're coming close so i'm going to pay a little more attention but let's say i want to track another orbit target enter iss international space station enter so suddenly i also see that orbit We're coming close. 6.3. I'm gonna. Once I get to uh, 70, I'm gonna start to slow down my uh, engines a little. Usually, there's very little reason to uh, de decrease the the uh, power output of your engines by pulling back on your throttle. Hold on, this is the number I'm looking at. Periapsis. Six five six five seven five eight nine six. I'm not gonna annoy you with this. Oh, I can also target the ISS in this, so I can see the ISS's stuff. So it, let's say I wanted to sync my orbit to theirs. You'll see that, huh? Doesn't that look conveniently close? Six seven zero. I wonder what our next lesson is. Alright, so it's gotten to the point where all I'm doing is uh, playing around too much, so my periapsis stopped rising. So I'm in a pretty sta stable orbit right now. So before I screw anything up, I'm going to turn off my autopilot here. So I just click that. I'm going to hit F4, and I'm going to quick save. I'm going to quick save many times. That way I'm sure that I got it. Now that concludes this lesson. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions in the uh, comments or just one-on-one. -on -one. Remember, there are no stupid questions. We are talking about rocket science. So, see you next time.